Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans today I'm kicking off my series of classic pullback reviews with this which is the friction powered to kill a lot and here it is in its box. At the top can be seen the classic Robot Wars logo, it is to kill a lot with extreme attacking action and ramp and ball and there's kill a lot's lance tearing through the side of the box. The figure and his accessories are housed clearly in this plastic bubble with Sir kill a lot again written at the bottom for some reason. On the back we get a large image of the toy and its accessories, as well as the other toys in the range, and this nice little cut out and keep trading card featuring Killlot statistics. Although it says he has a flamethrower, but he doesn't have a flamethrower. Stop getting Robot Wars wrong! But enough about the box, let's open it up and take a look-see at the toy itself. Okay, so here we have the mighty combat robot beast known as Sir Killalot. And for a toy produced 17 years ago, this looks so good. The face has been recreated beautifully with that medieval knight mixed with a xenomorph style. Even if the head does look a little bit squished in. I also love the paint effects used to give it this dirty and grungy look, as well as his iconic red eyes. The same treatment has been given to the breastplate, which has some excellent sculpting work on it too. The left arm features his claw, which has been elongated and isn't accurate, but it's still very cool, while the rest of the arm also contains sculpting of some black hydraulic hoses. The right arm features the iconic lance, so iconic in fact that they've used it as the basis for the modern series trophy. The sculpting is a little bit weak in place, is on it, but the bottom of the arm looks really great with that shield-like design and the black cables wrapped around it. Along the bottom we get Killalot's tracks with the silver drive wheels visible in the middle and the tread on the tracks clearly defined. On the top we have the protective cage which looks like an upturned shopping trolley and this features stegosaurus like plating running down the spine ending in a pointed tail as well as some nice silver wire mesh on there too. And a really awesome detail is that some wires and cables can be seen underneath the cage. So overall for detail, this looked incredible back in the day, and for me it looks just as good now. Turning to features, Sir Killalot is the only Robot Wars toy to feature a friction motor. So on the underside we get four wheels, as sadly the tracks don't actually move. The front two are just freewheeling, while the back wheels are powered by the friction motor. So rolling the toy forward a couple of times will power up the motor. And when you set it down, Killalot travels at a very fast speed, which is inaccurate to the show, but it makes for a fun play option. In addition to this, both of the arms are on ratchet joints, so it can move up and down through a wide range of motion and stay in place no matter what angle they've been set to. Finally, the claw can open and close. To do this, pull the grey lever back until the claw snaps open. Then to close it, pull the lever at the rear of the arm back, which will cause it to snap shut. Again, inaccurate to the show as his claw was hydraulic and didn't move at that speed, but it makes for an exciting action feature. It's accessories time and Killalot comes with the ramp and the sphere from the gauntlet and later pinball tournaments. These are great accessories, it actually makes sense. The ramp looks just like it did in the show and even includes that checker plated steel sheeting design on the top. The sphere is just a big grey hollow plastic ball but it's nonetheless an interesting inclusion. I also love that the friction motor has enough power to send Killalot over the ramp easily. Finally, we get this, an alternate arm for Killalot. This is designed to look like a sledgehammer and can be attached by popping out the lance and then pushing it into place. And there you have it, a weird looking Killalot and Mr. Psycho mashup. Doing a quick size comparison, all the Robot Wars toys were rarely built to scale with one another, so Killalot does look much smaller when compared to the competitors, yet I think he fits in well with the other house robots. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, I loved it when I was a little boy, and I still love it just as much now. The detail and features presented here hold up really well, and I genuinely believe that these toys actually look far better than some which are currently available. It's strong and it's sturdy, with some really superb detail and features, while the accessories look great and make sense. Well, most of them do anyway. So, did you like this review? And do you want to see some more classic Robot Wars pullback reviews? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, please do hit subscribe for more videos. And keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.